شده Josh Ikpeoha. That's one of the most talented young men I know. He plays at Moven Pick. Let me pin him. I, okay, I think he didn't say anything. He just he just joined. Josh Ikpeoha. Big shout out, big shout out, big shout out to that gentleman right there. That gentleman right there. K auto detailing. Come and do decon, this guy. Guys, if you like classical music, follow this guy. I'm pinning his account now. Follow that guy. He's a wonderful pianist. I know you people, you just like ba -ba 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 music. But you see, when in, in Moven Pick, when we go and sit down and have uh, dinner, I miss Moven Pick already. Be like, make I pack my bag, begin go there again tomorrow. As in the way this guy they play hey follow the guy follow the guy if you like if you like classical music all right guys so welcome to um a wonderful episode today um don't forget buy direct from usa.com buy direct from usa dot com anything you need from the u.s delivered to your doorstep go check it out right now you can buy you can buy cars accessories engine oil i get my i don't trust nigerian engine oil at least not for my mercedes or my other car i always import from the u.s and it is buy direct from usa.com that i use so go check that out buy direct from usa.com for phones accessories um clothes shoes face caps anything you want just type this in your browser buy direct from usa.com all right guys so today not today um very dark black man to be very honest Tonto DK is my sister. I love her to bits and pieces, but I don't support arresting. I, I, I know very dark black man too likes to overdo, but to be honest, once you see, in this life, I believe that everybody can be friends. If me and Apostle Suleiman be friends, after many years of online quarreling and fighting and back and forth if we can be friends i believe that anybody can be friends and there is no way you can lock somebody up that you will lock that person up permanently maximum you go lock them two days so the person is going to come out and then he now defeats the purpose that's my understanding of the matter. I may be wrong. But you see, arrests, in my humble opinion, do not work when it comes to conflict resolution. Arrests don't work when it comes to conflict resolution. There are better ways... There's nothing. Well, okay, wait till they go do. They go lock up for prison one week. Even if he pass one week, she will put money on them. She will put money on them. Say, you know, if they know if he lock and pass one week. Now, when you arrest somebody, the person you arrested has become more popular. Now, somebody like very dark black man. He you know they fear police. Now, activist. One thing that comes with activism is police problem. So, unless he no be bona fide activist, as long as he's an activist, the more you arrest him, the more he gets validated. I may be wrong, 
I may be wrong. Very dark black man has always says bad things about me. I know. You see, I can't be bothered. But what I, I, I want to know, what, one thing that he does is, he does create a buzz around certain conversations that are important. These are conversations we need to have. I'm not saying that what he did to Tonto was good. Oh, don't misquote me. Oh. I am just saying that arrests will never ever solve the problem especially in a country where the police people are already worried about the impression of the police what do you really think of the police people are already worried so yes at the end of the day police will do their job uh, blah 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 i do not support intimidation of women and all those things but we need to be very honest with each other if you were to ask me i will pursue other methods of conflict resolution Now, you also need to understand that sometimes if you want to discredit a person, it's better you leave them alone and ignore them. But you see, sometimes when you fight them, one thing that works for a very dark black man is he has come and made it look like I'm an ordinary guy, I'm a down-to-earth down guy, I don't need money. So a lot of people connect with that. They see him as the underdog. And in Nigeria, the underdog always wins. In Nigeria, the underdog always wins. So, if, if anyone were to ask my opinion, which nobody did... Someone said, no, what he did was defamatory. I agree. You see, I, I'm, I'm not saying he went about it the right way. But I'm also saying that arresting is not the right way. I don't know how to put it. Arresting is not the right way. Now, my advice to very dark black man is, you have a lot of energy. Try to remodel it in such a way that you don't make too many enemies for yourself. As I did like this, me too, I get plenty of enemy. Oh. Hey, I'm not sure I see anybody for this Nigeria get enemy reach me. I, I, I honestly doubt it that there's anybody in Nigeria today that has more enemies. People, they pray. You know, a uh, person will come my life. We say that they pray, that they gather, they pray. Say, make I buy, make something happen to me. You understand what I'm telling you? Not only do I have enemies, I have people that are actively praying to make something do me. They, they pray actively make something do me. Ah, so that they go feel they happy. People, they rejoice. You know, see person will come out, say my watch, they fake. I laugh. See the watch where we read the way. Wait me the name of the boy. I post that for my page. See the watch where in the wear. See the watch where in the wear. You the yap that the free. Say that the free is the wear fake watch. You know if you afford my perfumes. Let me tell you, you want to the enter watch. Baba, let me mess with you. This Cartier Santos. This I have two of this exact watch. I will show you if you want me to show you. One that my livelihood did for me and put the diamonds and this basic one so people actually are hoping that ah that the freeze will suffer oh so they can be happy i have a lot of enemies but you see one thing i've learned is sometimes it's better to douse the fire I doubt it that very dark black man 
on charges of defamation can go to prison. I doubt it. My opinion, I may be wrong. I doubt it. Not be this Nigerian system we did. I doubt it. Last, last, they go pay fine. And once they say make you pay fine, men will go pay the fine, go gather. Let's talk. So, okay, you arrest him. He goes to prison for one or two weeks or a few days. Comes out. The case goes to court. Eventually, you win against him. And they say you should go and bring 20 million. A man go gather the 20 million for him. I don't know if I'm making sense to you. Now, another thing with very dark black man is if it is if it, this should be an opportunity for him to learn not to make absolute statements, especially when dealing with women. I have women who someone say I brag a lot. I they brag because I work hard. When I work hard, finish whatever I buy, I can't show you. Lori Bruku, where are you? Come, 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 come. Oh, fish, you know, even get make I know make I don't rapture you straight. Jada no barapcha or lori buruku, you will answer. May we tell ourselves the truth? There are a lot of people. I, I sample a lot of opinions. Most women don't like him, most men love him. Inclu you know, there was a time I was divided about very dark black man. I didn't like him. I went to see my sister and her husband. My husband, they follow him. My, sorry, my sister's husband. He, they follow very dark black man. They hate him for. I say, ah, you too. He said, Papa, the guy they speak for the, for men. There's really nobody that speaks for men. So he speaks for men. So there are lots of men that like him to the extent where they can put one million naira down, two million naira down, five million naira down. Say, Baba, Mira. Thank you for popping my money gun. If you're watching on TikTok, double click the screen. Pop my money gun. Let me see who's going to be my number one popper today. Mira 03363. Pop that money gun. Job bless. Pop that money gun. Mayor 01234 is about to take over from Mira as my number one money gun popper today. Mayor 01234. Keep popping, keep popping, keep popping. If you're watching on TikTok, this is how your finger should vibrate, like this, on the screen. If your screen hasn't cracked yet, you're not doing it right. Crack that screen, double tap that screen till it cracks. I have 3,600 likes, let's get it to 20K right now. Mira is popping those money guns. Oh, she's popping away. If you're watching on YouTube, your super chat, super stickers, and super likes, I'm only going to read messages that have super stickers, super chats, and super likes. Um, if you're watching on Facebook, get my stars, a thousand stars and above, and I'm going to read your message. Mayor, keep popping. Mira, keep popping. Who's it going to be? Mayor or Mira? M or M? I don't know who it is, but I know somebody's going to win. Mira's not giving up. She's popping away right now let me give you the stats so far mira has done six money guns uh and mayor has done six money guns six six boom boom pow um th th this is so 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 amazing now if you're on youtube a lot of people saying i don't know how to buy super chat super sticker super likes let me teach you go down bottom right hand corner you'll see a rectangle and a dollar sign in the middle of the rectangle click on it that's how you buy my uh super chat super stickers and super likes go there right now on facebook click on today's video you see daddy freeze d-a-d-d-y-f-r-e-e-z-e -E -E. bottom left on youtube is bottom right on facebook is bottom left hand corner you will see how to buy my stars a thousand stars and above you get a special shout out a thousand stars and above I'll uh, read your messages. Mayor 01234 going against Mira. Uh, Mira is tackling Mayor. Oh my goodness, they've done 10 10. 
I can't believe this. Oh no, Mayo is in the lead. He's done 12. Mira has done 8. And Mayo is still popping. Popping away in a fury. Mayo, Mayo, you're taking the lead today. Mira, thank you so much, darling. You're not giving up. You're firing back. I just love it. So let me go back to what I was saying about very dark black man and Tonto uh, DK. Uh, I love Tonto DK so much. Tonto DK is my sister. Um, Tonto DK is somebody I, I love. You know, so... I, I know that what Very Dark Black Man did was not okay. Um, but I wish Very Dark Black Man was somebody that would listen to me so that we can have a conflict resolution that does not involve the police. Because you see, eh, in Enila Mola, we know today, tomorrow is pregnant. Today we know tomorrow is pregnant. We don't know where anyone can get to. We don't know what can happen tomorrow. And because we don't have... Hey, somebody don't give me... <laughs> How did they put this on my face? Oh? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, well, how did they put this? Now me put them. I've been a person. Put them. How did I get this? How did I get this? So, oh, uh -huh, okay, this is. I think this is it. Uh -huh. Now me go press something by mistake. So uh, back to what I was saying. Um, I wish I could talk to very dark black man. So that. I can create someone say I don't screenshot her. Ah, Sabio, now we're gonna make you happy with that. Oh no, Sabio is gonna make laugh at me. Oh, eh? I'm about to hit half of my target on TikTok. Big shout out to Mira and Mayo, Eminem. Now me put them by mistake. Oh. I don't know how I take touch them. I've been a person doing for me. I just noticed say the thing just pop. Woo! I've met 50% of my target, half of my target on TikTok. Lord Castan, keep popping, keep popping, keep popping. Tosi Olu, you screenshotted it, Waka. <laughs> to all of you that screenshotted it, Waka, Waka, Waka. Pitbull. Hey, Uncle Charlie Boy, they called me. Oh, make I pick phone. Yeah, hello. Uh, Oga Charlie Boy. Well done, sir. I did live. I go call you once I get come out for the live. All right, sir. Yes, boss. Hey, I never order my suya. Eh? Pop those money guns. Mira, I love you, sis. Mayor, I love you, sis. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Make I order my suya. Eh? Norma suya. The juiciest suya in the whole of Lagos. The juiciest suya. Someone says, is that the real Charlie boy? Yes, now. Uh -uh. My captain, how far? Oh, yeah, you go forget me. Oh. You can only you, you can only forget if I give an order for forgetting. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. All right. Somebody say, pop to your money. Pop it away, pop it away, pop it away. Back to the serious stuff. I, I wish I could actually have a conversation with very dark black man and advise him on, you see, if you notice, there was a time in my life I used to troll pastors. And because I studied scripture in original languages, I know that 99% of Nigerian pastors don't know what is in that Bible. The moment you read Bible in English, you have already lost your way. Because they did not write it in English and they did not write it for an English audience. Neither did they write it for a Nigerian audience. So when starting the Bible, say the Bible, say the Bible was not talking to you. You have to be able to decipher the script. And for you to understand the Bible, you have to read a lot. You've got to read the Dead Sea Scrolls. You've got to read the Apocrypha. You've got to read the Sumerian text. You've got to read history. You've got to be able to have 
So IQ Bona, how far, bro? IQ Bona, just pop it away. So you've got to be able to. So when when I did all this study and I did the realization, I compared it to the reality of Nigeria. I just knew that you people don't know what you are. You not you don't know what's in this book. I made up my mind and I was trolling them, and I made a lot of enemies for myself. But you see, guess what? I realize that I can actually still question the church and the leaders of the church politely. A lot of people might not understand this, but it can actually be done politely. Vidoma, how are you doing, my darling? You can actually question I can read something about someone without getting to the point of defamation. And very dark black man has to understand that he can actually do what he does without getting to the borders of defamation. You don't even have to be polite. Just don't defame. Just, you see, two things that you cannot do. You cannot defame, you cannot threaten. You can criticize. But you can still be sued for criticism. But, you know, sometimes, imagine I criticize Sabio now. And Sabio sues me. I'm not saying he can't. You can go to court for anything. I can go to court and say, the person that sold this cap to me did not... I wanted grey, it is more of blue. And the court will hear it. But you see, imagine a very big pastor now arrest Daddy Freeze on top, say Daddy Freeze, ask him question with the inside Bible. In as much as his fans and his followers will be celebrating, yes, they've arrested Daddy Freeze. The people on the outside will say, inside Bible question, where you suppose answer? That means you know. So he will lose credibility. I will gain credibility. Because, okay, you told, I criticize you on the Bible, you take me to court. You cannot tell me to apologize. What am I apologizing for? What I'm asking you is inside the Bible, is it not? So at the end of the day, I'll gain credibility. They will lose credibility. The bigger the pastor, the more the credibility they lose. And the more the credibility I gain. So, sometimes, unless what you do is downright wild... Most people just want to ignore you for the sake of peace because the war that is going to come at the end of the day, they will not like it. So they just leave it. So you can be brash in your criticism. You can be bold. But you see, be careful to draw the line at defamation threats you understand my opinion on maybe your formula is working for you but but like i said at the end of the arrest don't work in nigeria you arrest somebody they'll be out in a fortnight max they could be out as early as tomorrow if they arrested him today he could be out as early as tomorrow oh okay tomorrow is weekend uh, by monday he can be out so at the end of the day, what you manage to do is humiliate the person. Now let me ask you a question. Person where they try trend, or person where someone that lives in the attention economy. Like me, I live in the attention economy. Anything that happens to me is going to contribute to my attention. I feed off attention. Attention is my oil rig. Attention is my bank. I cannot make money if I don't have attention. I don't know if I'm making sense. Attention is my bank. 
Attention is my oil field. Attention is my football field. Attention is my racetrack. Attention is my oil rig. So when somebody, you see, attention, arrest to somebody where they work for bank is different from arrest to somebody where they work for attention. Hello? So when you work for attention, arrest is not a big deal. Arrest is a big deal if you do other things where you don't want attention, then arrest is a big thing. So for someone like very dark black man, you arrest him. Let's even imagine you're able to lock him for six months. It's not going to affect him in any way. He's going to come out, he'll be more popular. So at the end of it, it's counterintuitive. What I believe we could have done is talk to people who talk to him. But the problem now is there are not enough people who are around very dark black man that you can have conversations with. So, I understand the attention economy. I have 1,500 people watching me on Instagram, 1,600 people watching me on Facebook, 400 people watching me on YouTube, 600 people watching me on TikTok. Two, four, sorry, one, six, one, six, three, two, plus 400, three, six, plus 600, 4,000 people. So he's out. What did I say? Finish. He's out. They say VDM is out. Wait, wait at the top just now. Say arrest no few work. Sweet I talk. Simple. So, okay, so what's the best? Now, guess what? His arrest has brought 4,000 people to watch Daddy Freeze that is talking about his arrest. They just paid him some social media currency. So me, I would choose another path of conflict resolution instead of arrest. Somebody just pasted his account number. Rapture. So, if he's out, I spoke too soon. It's like I knew exactly what I was, what I was saying. <laughs> Even if you go to court in Nigeria, before you will get a judgment, you would have done like four, five years. So, we need to find another means of conflict resolution. You don't like what he's saying? So, let me just bring some people. Whatever you guys have to say, let's hear you. Uh, official DJ Bongoli. Let me hear you. Lucky Innocent said, Sir, be shame now. You see, Lucky Innocent, eh? The world has to deal with the fact that your father forgot to put on a rubber a few years ago. And your mother was not smart enough to notice that she had missed the time of the month so your father could have given her a pill to avoid having to deal with a waste. Olori Burukuto Oje. 
Hello. Bongoli. Yes. All right, let's hear you. What is your take on the matter? Hold on. Something is sounding in the background. I don't know if it's on my end. Like I'm getting you echo even more. No, I'm I'm cool. Oh my god, it's lagging. Christ. Okay, go ahead. Let's hear you nonetheless. With or without the lag, let's hear you. Okay. Oh my god. Can you please can you bring me back? Please respectfully. All right. Leave Let and me. come back. You should have just gone on and talked. I don't know why he needed to go and come back. Even for just talk within day in mind. All right. Okay, DF, I think it's better now. Hello, everyone. All right, Can you hear me, ahead. DF? Let's hear you. Yes. So, uh, with this uh, VDM matter, uh, firstly, um, I would say that VDM is somebody that I would forever respect on some certain aspect. Hmm. Very dark black man should be made an ambassador in Nigeria. Should be a health ambassador. I should be an NDLA ambassador also. It should be a NAFDAQ ambassador also. Very dark black man has saved the lives of millions of Nigerians with his advocacy as regards uh, this NAFDAQ numbers and everything. One of the places that very dark black man will keep on getting hate is from the people that do skincare businesses, people that do... Um, drinks businesses, people that also do uh, mostly called drugs businesses, I mean medicine and all of that. So this man right here has ensured that on our social media platforms in Nigeria, you have seen less adverts of skincare products. This man here has educated and enlightened Nigerians such that if you want to buy any products, you look out for the NAFDAQ number. This man here, Evendos too, thanks for reminding me. This man here has made me more educated because um, one thing is an enlightenment because um, I go by this policy, the more I know, the more I realize I know nothing. Mm. So because of very dark black man, um, I was able to go and read what it re the requirements for NAFDAQ. Mm. I've gone to go and read because as a manufacturing engineer, so I understand all of these raw materials into finished goods and refining them and all of that. So these products that are being made should go through what is called good manufacturing practices. It's called GMP. And also, um, you also look at the certificate of analysis. It's called C of A. So any product that comes in, you must have that full um, breakdown. Like this is the amount. This is the amount of whatever chemical is in there. And that is what I have that said about 70 to 80 percent of the drugs that come into Nigeria are fake, counterfeit. So many mm -hmm. of us in Nigeria are using counterfeit drugs in Nigeria because they say the C of A is even fake. So mm -hmm. why am I put I'm putting this out there because I'm putting this out there because you need to understand just like the uh, cabal of uh, what's it called, of gasoline. That is fuel cabal, the subsidy cabal that is fighting the Nigerian government today is the same type of cabal that's also fighting very dark black man. The air vendor cabal, the skincare cabal, skincare business cabal, the um, drugs cabal, and also the uh, fake drinks and all of those things cabal. They busted a place in trade fair. I'm from that side in Lagos. 
250 million naira worth of goods that he frees. I think, I don't know if I sent it to you. They busted the place yesterday. That he frees, what are Nigerians putting in their bodies? And our life expectancy is 54 years. Why won't our life expectancy not be 54 years? We're having um, um, cases, cancer cases going up in Nigeria day on day, year on year. Hmm. I see very dark black man in that light. Now, there are so many things I don't agree. I mean, not some, so many things. I don't agree with his uh, political lining and inclination. I don't agree with his economic stance because when he speaks, I just get turned off because it's like very dark black man. You need to get more education on this. You don't know what you are saying about this. I, I see it. And I always say that content creators, please, this is an advice for all content creators in Nigeria. Before you put that material out there, get somebody that has um, common sense, get someone that has that is somewhat enlightened and educated in that line, let them vet it. Mm. Let them vet it. When they vet it, they go say, okay, let's push it forward. Because if very dark black man understands that Nigeria is paying one point, used to pay $1.5 billion monthly to subsidize dollar, that's why dollar was 450 or 700 during Buhari's regime, he will not come out and say that. If he understands that, if he understands the the fuel subsidy and the cabal thing going on and all that, he will not come and say they increase fuel price. That's why I disagree with him. Also, when he makes outlandish statements at times, mm. you need to watch how you make statements from a defamatory standpoint. Now, that is, I'm going to say something very controversial here. Tonto DK is an enemy of the state. Ah, uh, uh, but I'm now if you don't tell my sister, oh, you know if you talk, I'm like that. So. That it is, it is, I am accountable for what I said. I am saying it because Tonto DK, I am saying it because Tonto DK does advertisements for for products that don't have NAFTAC registration. And it's a fact. And that means she's selling bad products to Nigerians that's going to keep KILL Nigerians, neutralize Nigerians. And that goes for every other person in Nigeria that is intentionally selling products, advertising products that don't have SON registration. That is standard organization of Nigeria. Maybe that if free some someday I would, would do like a, a full pro. I would explain how all of these things work. Because if you are bringing something from outside of Nigeria, for example, um, um, NAFDAQ is supposed to even go there to where they are making the products. And they are supposed to look at the good manufacturing practices that you are employing. Like what kind of equipment are you using to make this product? Where are your ingredients? Hmm. These things are happening. Bob Risky, Idris. Bob Risky is even a friend to my brother, my blood brother, the same father, the same mother. Bob Risky does advertisements for, what's he called, for all these uh, multiple products. Do they have NAFDAQ registration? That if it's Nigeria... Yeah, but you can't say she's an as enemy the of the state. You might not agree. What do you say? You can't say she's an enemy of the state. You can say that, that if it's, you are not happy that with it. No, that if it's I'm saying with my own chest, it is not a defamatory statement. It's a statement of fact. I'm trying to explain to Nigeria the meaning of being defamatory and making a statement of fact. And I challenge her and every other person. So I'm calling every other Nigerian. I'm calling all of them. It's not just I alone. And I said the likes of them. If you intentionally advertise products that don't have NAFDAQ registration, what are you doing to Nigeria and or Nigerians? This is the same mentality with air vendors. This is the same mentality with people that import bad drugs from Southeast Asia. I know where they break these drugs from. This is the same people that are also making products, um, counterfeit products, Don Julio. Sky Senna said he drank 10 shots of Casamigos. He thought he was drinking water. He wasn't high or anything. These things are damaging our systems. Daddy Freeze, there's going to be a health pandemic coming in Nigeria in the next 10 years. So, a BDM comes in and is fighting that industry. I feel in that line, we all should support BDM in this fight. I mean, on that one. Now, when it comes to politics, respectfully, it does, it's not well enlightened as we get that. When it comes to how he may convey his message with the things he says, he can make defamatory statements. Like, I think, in my opinion, he was called for questioning. 
And what is said about the police and senators and the TV, but this, that statement that he made is a civil matter. It's not a criminal matter. It's a, it's a civil it's a civil matter. It's not a criminal matter. So they're going to call him for questioning. And he already apologized to David the day after he made that statement. So in my opinion, the people that are fighting Bobo, uh, sorry, that are fighting BDM, are the, it's a cabal. And that is why a lot of our our moments, our ladies in court, do not always support him. That is free. Nigeria is a, our society where we have to say Nigeria is a, Oh, I'm going too much down, please, respectfully. I don't know who that. Sorry? Okay. Nigeria, Nigeria is a place where we have made illegality legal. Things they dare not try in the Western world, they try it in Nigeria. That mm. is, we were in this nation where some people will put different chemicals and mix it in a, what they call back. Yeah. What is about for Basia? And you mix it. I think it's one of my... Somebody here. You are making organic cream. Where is the good manufacturing practice there? Do you have NAVDA registration? The standard organization of Nigeria, do you have a certificate? that it frees? Have you seen what it requires for you to actually sell the products in Nigeria? Can you tell me that that lady selling something in the Basia can actually um, meet that standard or a guy that is doing that can meet that standard? You know, when you throw a stone into a market, it may hit your family member. Hmm. There are a lot of people that have suffered from health issues because of the things that is consumed in Nigeria that is counterfeit. And that is how I will forever see very dark black man. Now, all the other things that he does, we can trash it out, we can like decipher it and all of that, I don't agree. And I've said it here. How he conveys his message, yeah. he needs to get somebody that would refine it and um, yeah. he needs to be watchful <laughs> of his utterances yeah. and also get yeah. more education and enlightenment on economic and or political mm. matters mm. because he has a very strong and organic influence. Send and I heard his out from your platform. <clears throat> And I, I wish him the very best. I rest my submission for now, Daddy Freeze. Thank you very All much. Right. Sabio, no um, I can't see Obakesulu, but I'm greeting him. I think he's online. Hey, bon, I greet everybody. Thank you. Sabio, let me oh, hear go. from you. Then Obakesulu. Yes. Yes. So, Dev, um, mm -hmm. I'm just going to add a little bit for just two minutes because um, Bongoli have exhausted and treated this very well actually um bungoli caught me off guard because he started from the very good parts of a uh, very dark man mm -hmm. and uh, i wanted to alight something before he he then went on to to treat the other part mm -hmm. first of all i totally agree with um bungoli in fact just for your record dear even you don't know this when very dark mouth was first invited by the police he's going to see this video you should go and check you should look at my profile i personally sent him a message he don't know me from adam i told him he's still in, inside his box but i don't think he ever read it i said if you need support that i'm strongly behind you because i hate oppression okay so i don't know him i don't need any favor from him but i just want to let you know that it's not about coming here to talk or as well. I was one of those who also support what Bogoli is saying and was ready to fight for very dark man because my understanding when I got to hear about very dark man was a guy fighting for a good cause. So I don't want to flog that issue. So I agree with very dark man on that one. However, recently I saw a video of very dark man that got on me. And this video is this. Remember after the military issue, very dark man made a statement saying that if he was the army general, he's going to wipe out that community. So that got me thinking. I said, ah, ah, why would this guy be making this kind of statement? You know? So I, because of that, I wasn't really happy with him. But I didn't send him any message because I know the one I sent last time or whatever. So 
With that being said, that made me angry and I decided to look into a very dark matter critically and see that it was this guy strongly against those people who are producing cream or he just had some kind of, you know, sometimes some people criticize something, not necessarily because they have that passion. Or, you know, sometimes if you are just against somebody, you have selfish reason, you can criticize something even if you are fighting a good cause. I don't know how to put it. Mm. So... I, I, I'm beginning to wonder, you know, was very dark man just used as a tool to fight some certain persons like Tonto and a uh, group and other people? Hmm. Oh, okay. Babe, I'm coming. You know, just Let's for see that babe. reason. Let's see your babe. Oh. We want to see babe. Babe, want to see you. Mrs. B. Oh, she got inside. She got she go inside. <laughs> you know, I was just driving in when you, hmm. when you got me. Okay. So, you know, so now the issue is this, my brother. So I don't want us to miss this issue, but if he ever hears this, we all do make mistakes sometimes. We make comments that we are not proud of. So I want to agree with Bongoli. You cannot say because a community, some few elements did something, they should go and wipe out the poor people, the entire masses. It's not the way to go. We condemn the killing of our gallant, the pain of our gallant soldiers, because we are also family from military background and all that. So we know that is a bad thing. But you don't say because of that they should go and wipe the entire village. You don't do that. If you delete an American in Abuja today, do you think it's right for an American to say, okay, because you delete or you can now feel of their persons that they should invade Nigeria and wipe it down? You don't behave like that. So I hope he was able or he is able to hear this and make correction to that statement. You know, so that's my issue with him. Then finally, Bongoli, there's a part you left out, to be honest. After that issue, this recent issue was when I discovered that very dark man, we all do have our past, but very dark man is not a good example, sorry, for the public. Because the things that he said with his mat and the things he have done, a man that said, he don't even use a the mat, they carry chocolate, uh, what do they call them? Joystick, the the leak. Do you understand? You know, things like that. It's not good for him. And he came out and be publicizing some kind of video. You know, so it's not a good example. You know, if you want to come out public, you should be careful. This internet, don't forget. There are millions of people or thousands of people watching this live. But you can't you can't just come here and talk because me talking here today, I don't know how many people know me that are watching that, watching me right now. There are things I might say here if it's not true. Somebody will reach out to that if you say, oh, no, I know that guy. You understand what I'm trying to say? So you must be a good example. Not about all this get follower, get follower, you just come and talk anyhow. So I yield back. Sabio, I know that the first takes over and all this alone, but I just want to say something. Um, Sabi, I'm going to disagree with you on this 100% in the sense that if you use that about VDM, because VDM has come out and when he started, he said this was his past. He has done all of these things. He said it with his own mouth. And he said he wants to, he has, he has gone, he has had his come to Jesus moment and he's turning a new leaf and he switched. Now, if you say this about VDM, then that the prince that teaches uh, the Bible and all of that, we should scrap out everything, every letter that Apostle Paul has written to the church. No, no. We must we not listen. No, 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 no. Because Apostle Paul was Saul that was persecuting Christians. And he turned a new leaf. Because let us go biblical. I don't show my biblical side. I'm a biblical scholar to a certain extent, but I never no, talk about this. No, I am not I am no point because you know, he is also criticizing people for their past. past. That is the question you here. Don't you don't get no. it. No, what the area you are going to so is correct. We all do we have past, but I'm saying if you, you as a human being, is calling out people for their past, if anybody calls you also for your past, you should not have problem. Who's past? Is it Idris is present? Is it Bob Idris's present? This yes, is Idris's so present. Saying is, what I'm saying is, he, he is playing, he's playing some videos of some people in the past. I don't know one, no, okay. one lady boy or something like that. 
Sabi, that guy they call Bob or something. Movie, so you can access better. Sabi, can yeah. I give you an example of the video he played in the past of somebody, somebody's yeah. past, yeah. and that person has not said, yeah. has not had the come to Jesus yeah. moment, yeah. and he's using it against the person. Yeah. Can you play that for me, or can anybody? Play yes. It? Did you not play recently? The go recently the video of uh, Bob. That actually a lot of people have get me wrong. Bob, that uh -huh. is Bob present. This is not Bob's. It's not Idris's past. It is Idris's present. And Idris every okay. day will remind us that he has transgendered. So he's playing Idris's present, not Idris's past. So with that view, Daddy Freeze, I respectfully stop teaching anything that has to do with the If you say so, then I. If you say so. Let's hear from Let's hear from Oba Kesolo. Kesolo, yes, how me... are you doing? Good evening, my brother. What is your take on the matter? Uh, okay. Um, good evening, everybody. Um, I've actually been kind of offline. Bungoli, how are you doing, bro? <laughs> Hold on, sir. Okay, I've actually been offline. I just got online some couple of minutes and... Um, I'm seeing the story left, right, and center, and I'm here now. Okay, but for me, if you ask me to put um, one or two together, I will say um, I've been a strong supporter of VDM from the beginning. And um, if we still check his DM, we've had, long, we have, we've had several chats. And um, if I remember, even in his, in his DM, um, I have sent some videos of people that I see mixing creams in their bedrooms and all that, that I just came over about on the, on the social media. And I've sent it to him personally. And um, the reason why I sent it to him is because I actually loved uh, his, uh, what he was actually pursuing at the time, you know. And I saw that he was actually lettered more in it and he has done his research. And he knows what he was actually talking about then, you know. So I sent it to him, like, talk about this, talk about this, you know. I was always giving him one or two con um, content that. then. And um, until I saw him actually um, divert, you know, he started having some new, new stuff added to what he was doing. And it was not my business, though, you know, along the line. I saw him come out, okay, but when I had um, a rough time with him, not a rough time, um, I, 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 gave, I gave him an arm's length was when I was pushing on um, uh, uh, Mobaz's death. You know, when he came out and said um, it was about cloud chasing and all that, the mistake he first made was the fact that I, Kesulu, I single-handedly started my push on Mobad. you know, and it was not a function of any... Uh, a lot of people came on board at the long run, you know, and I felt he had issues with one or two people that were in the team, and he didn't just want to even care who you were, and he just and he just put everybody together in a box and began to dump them in the ground, not even having an idea of who I am, my kind of person. But I left that at that moment, and I never said a word. I didn't even give him a block. I didn't do anything because one of the few things I've, I've grown to understand is I know his age. And I and, and I love his strength, and um, because of that, I looked at him like there are some things he's doing right now that in a couple of years he probably would not like some himself as well, you know. So I just I didn't really really bother about it. So I felt like it was his growing process and all that, and that could that is one of what is actually putting him into what he is right now, and um, he there's I think there's a lot of youthful exuberance in talking in his in his delivery of his of his message. Even when he means right at times he eats some people wrongly. It mm. means that he's he has arrogance, his pride and all that. So I see a lot of that in him and I feel with time it will learn. For for everybody that has so gone to a particular height in life. You're saying very dark man is gonna learn. Yes. You know <laughs> You know, for everybody who has grown to a particular point in life, I've gone through one thing or the other. I have had my share before. Like I always say to young producers that um, you need to learn from me. I've been in this game for over 20 years. And I have seen the good part of the ugly of this game. So mm -hmm. if I tell you this is what it is, I think you should go put a research in it. Now, for me, 
I do not have a problem with him. On on very truth, I am very I'm very to say I don't have a problem with him. But I think he needs to lessen his you know when you talk about things, it he makes his truth look light. It makes it feel like he's being pushed to do some things, you know. And all that put together makes him look fake at the end of the day. But like I said, the only major problem I see all all about uh, in, in, in the very that guy is the fact that he's still a kid that still needs to grow a little more and understand method of delivery, understand that people are loving him. Sorry, it's sir. Jeff, let me... Let, sorry, bros. Jeff, let me leave, eh? All right. Madame, don't, baby don't, for me. don't save me lunch. Sorry for that. Thank you. Yeah. Greet oh, your baby, oh, your you. madam, your love for us. So. Yeah, your friend, Jeff, is saying hi. <laughs> she hears you, but you know she will not come to camera for anything. Tell her Take what care, bro. Take care, so, bro. Yeah, Take she'll care. call you one-on-one. -on -one. We'll All talk, right, right. Take care. Yeah. Like I was saying, people are actually loving him and it's making a lot of sense. You know, there's a lot of words that people want to say, but they find it very difficult to say. Hmm? He has the confidence to say it. A whole lot of us can say it, but you know, we look at ourselves that we have a lot to lose. You know, when we say we have a lot to lose, you know what I mean? You understand? But for a young guy, hmm, whenever born, hmm, Whenever I begin to put some serious things down for life, eh, you actually um, you you think twice about the words before you drop it. You know, so at the point, that's the reason why a lot of people look at him like he's being used as a tool. You understand? But in all of this, there was the video that I saw people circulating around about him when he was when he was, you know, who he was before. Me, I don't see that as a problem for every soul that lives on this earth we've had a past before. Hmm. The difference with a lot of us and him is probably because at the time that we were in our at, at our own dirty time, the internet was not this big. Yes, you get what so... I'm saying? Maybe a lot will have been taped and be put in the faces of people. You get what I'm saying? Now, let me digress just a bit. And do you know what I want to digress? I want to digress to the case of Idris Abdul Karim when it happened and you brought... Um, you brought um, a remedy, mm. and he was in your life, and he was crying. Now, for me, for a cultural man, a Yoruba man, mm, when you want to, um, when you want to put sheke sheke in somebody's hand, is at the is when you you find yourself on a life and weeping at that age. People might feel is it, it feels bad. People might feel pain. That okay, he's feeling pain. But that the phrase, I'm gonna say this to you too, eh? Don't forget that Eddie's um, sister is the wife to the CEO of Kenny's music. If you want to keep dragging this matter, eh? if you want to drag that matter, eh? hmm. if you have brought the likes of Rasky, hmm? if you have brought the, the, the likes of uh, Azados, they would tell you the hazard that this same um, ed two has done to their career because he had an upper hand in Kenny's music. Are you getting the point? Hmm. So for me, um, I just want to, I feel like um, VDM's matter is, all those ones that are spreading online is, by the way, I think it's just two people that have made themselves, have put their dead signals outside there. That's VDM and, um, uh, what's his name? And Idris, that's uh, Bob Risky. And um, I, I think they will fix that matter. But in the middle of it, like I said, BDM will grow, and he will realize that he's having a big followership. And if he's not careful, that mm. same followership will be the one that will burn him down. Somebody said something yesterday. When mm. you look at your comment section and your followers telling you, "Go on, go on, go on, go on," you feel you're actually doing what is right, you know. But you need to always sit down, relax, and think about it again if what you're doing is right or wrong. So but for me, I do not know if it's Stone Toji that actually arrested him. Um, I only saw it, I think I saw it on Sam Clare's page. But if it is Stone Toji that's a personal matters, And I think they will fix it themselves. Like, I know, there's nobody in this world that... We are in, a, we are in, a, we are in an administration that do not take 
that do not cross line. You understand? It's an administration that I know that respects people and their um, and their um, what they call it. They respect the rule of law. You understand? This is the government that me I know and mm. would not let anybody use uh, bottom power. Would not let anybody use. I have strength. I know somebody behind the corridors of power to um, to intimidate anybody. If he did not do anything wrong, he will be out. And if he did something wrong, he will go to court. You, do, you understand? So oh wow! Instagram just timed out, just in the middle of that amazing conversation. So um, uh, I'm gonna bring Instagram right back. Oh my goodness. I'm going to bring Instagram right back. Uh... Let's hope this works. I hope. And the phone is almost dead. So I'm going to use this as an opportunity. I have a spare phone anyway. Oh no, this phone is already dead. Oh gosh 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 all right so i'm gonna come right back on instagram just be very copy uh paste sorry guys one second paste all right so share that's done uh let me plug this one here and let me use okay so that's right there let me go live on this other phone guys be a bit patient we are coming right back with another phone this time around uh -huh. Alrighty. So, a bit of patience. Make Una no vex. Just calm down. Okay. Okay. So, guys, be patient, please. phone is booting so we're good to go now okay if you're watching on tiktok double click the screen pop my money guns pop my money guns double click that screen let's get it to 50,000 views while we're signing in on to instagram Double click the screen, double click the screen. Double click the screen. Follow my number one gifter on TikTok. While I'm signing this in, follow my number one gifter on TikTok. Follow my number one gifter on TikTok. Double click the screen. Double click the screen. Let me make some noise for those buying my money guns. Who's my number one gifter? Who's my number one gifter on TikTok? Okay, so um, guys, don't be angry. I'm coming right back now. I'm bringing women too, so women are going to share their opinions. I just need to. I just need to get this over with. Uh, okay, let me just uh let me just send this sorry network is acting all crazy it's not yet logged in okay that's fine so finally i think i have it so i'm going live now with another phone okay so yeah finally sorry instagram timed me out and then also my phone battery was low so i have to have yet another battery and then we can go live again and i'm live now on instagram so the conversation continues 
to the glory of God. Okay, so let's do this. Let's hope I'm getting it. Cool down, guys. I'm on a wow. Now, wow. Okay, I'm live. Oh, sorry. That didn't quite work out. Let me close this. And now, discard media, discard. Okay, let's go live now. Live. Details. Paste. Add details. Fantastic. So we can go live now. All right, guys. Thank you so much for those of you who have been patient. <clears throat> Don't forget, buy direct from USA.com. Go to the website, type buy direct from USA.com for anything you need from America delivered to your doorstep in Nigeria. Buy direct from USA.com buy direct from usa.com phones accessories electronics cars car parts anything you need from america delivered to your doorstep buy direct from usa.com uh so i'm gonna bring back bonguli and i'm gonna bring back mary and k solo k solo was in the middle of what he was saying uh, so, K Solo and Mary, I'm bringing you guys back. Are you on now, Bongoli? Mary, Mary is a lawyer. K Solo. <coughs> All right. Sorry, Instagram times me out. Lightning. Hi, dear. Mary Yoon, I missed you in Movenpick. Dear, yeah, if you're the only one that can afford that Movenpick back to back, yeah, just come and do one week, one day and go. It's just you that does We missed you. Days. I said, ah, if Mary was here, this name for no remain rich like this. <laughs> all right how oh, are you doing go ahead tell me what are your thoughts on this vdm matter i mean this vdm matter is quite the my issue with this vdm matter is i think he's made too many damaging statements i think and it's because mm. act actions don't really have consequences in nigeria so people say things and they get away with things he who alleges must prove that's the truth so you are alleging that someone owns a blog you are alleging someone is doing um pimping people or doing or you have to prove and like bongoli said it's not really a criminal matter defamation is strictly civil where the person can go and get damages for whatever statements that are made you know hmm. that were made against them so i don't know why the police i mean you can petition the police but i think it's majorly civil so i don't know why they're getting involved maybe they have other charges that they want to bring against him and they just brought him in for questioning and then maybe they'll take it from them i don't know but my only issue with this is that he's gonna get away from the net somehow he has a lot of people who support him a lot of men who support him who believe that what he's doing he's championing their cause so he's going to probably find a way to get away but I think the statement he makes, he needs to, you can't make statements like that, especially when you're not sure. Also, if you live in glass house, you don't throw stones. I understand mm. that he's, um, he's saying that, oh, he's changed and everything, but he doesn't have the moral, um, he's too morally bankrupt to, you know, decide to nail people who, you know, have different sexual, um, orientation rather who have different orientation than he because he has somehow one way or the other been involved in something like that maybe his own is not because he wants to use it it's not, it's not maybe his is not because he that's a part of him but because he was probably he probably needed money at the time but whichever any which way the point is that you have somehow been in that compromising situation so if you are in that situation 
you cannot point fingers you can't point fingers and even if you must point finger maybe you feel like oh you're you've seen the light and things that are different for you now and you feel that way of life is not the best way your approach and delivery must be different you cannot talk the way he can't talk the way he's talking actually since he's been in that situation before somehow so also i do not i'm not a fan of edm i'm not really a fan i'm not a fan of the approach i'm not a fan of so many things when he was championing the cost of the skincare line thing yes it made sense to me but the other topics that have come after like the issue with the single mother getting married or finding love again i'm not a fan of how he handled it i'm not not been a fan of a lot of things but unfortunately a lot of men seem to like him so who am i i don't know but he needs to find a way to you know um confirm what he's saying you know you can't say somebody owns a blog just lover blog is a blog that a lot of people she has stepped or he or she has stepped on a lot of tools right and you can't say someone owns the blog because a lot of people are definitely looking for who just lover is so you need to be careful what you say from the legal standpoint so but the problem is a lot of nigerians they don't they don't they believe and things are to be done anyhow so they they just accept it as long as it's favoring them even vdm he's championing the cause of oh this should be done in a proper way but he's not even doing things the proper way that's the truth he's not doing things the proper way so that approach needs to change completely he needs to find a way to put out his words and he needs to confirm whatever he's putting out because most of the things he's saying if they were going to sue him for every single thing he says he probably won't have a penny left so he needs to be careful with things like that so that's what i think though but you know over to you guys okay okay solo welcome back we're in the middle of listening to you allow bongoli kick off when i see bongoli with pen i'm always afraid you know and I'll know that I don't forget that I don't forget my that I don't forget my points. It's, it's so that's why I always have a pen close to me. I always have my notes and my pen close to me all the time. Yeah. So firstly, guys, I want you all to remember for those of you that were in the last okay, live round of so I can go and allow you. Uh -huh. Yes. Let's okay, one round of okay, round of round of respectfully. Yes. Respectfully, so, sir. Well, respectfully. Sir. So like <laughs> Okay, like I was saying earlier um yeah he has he has gained a lot of um followership which uh, i can understand very well how he works in nigeria especially when you become a spokesman for the masses a lot of people tend to swap to your side you know and like you for who you are the same way a lot of people actually loved bongodi before um before we got to the political part of you know nigeria time you know then <laughs> his followership became <laughs> A case of firewood and, uh, and, and then, that point. <laughs> you know so so for me he has a lot of followership all i can say is this uh, i see a young man trying to uh build a life for himself like i said and every time i look at his age i look at him like and I ask myself what i was doing when i was his age you how know? old so is he he's chaplain eh? how old is very dark man i'm chaplain maybe 28 28 28 or something it's not 30 yet it's 28 wow it's, it's, something it's, like it's something good you know that if it keeps to the right way and the right move it would last for a very long time so uh my own take for him is simple it's like i would say even let me use another, another example a young boy called Ola of lagos you know we knew when Ola of lagos started and all that so you know a lot of Lagos would knock at my door today just from the gate and then open the gate for him because he has built himself to that point and put a particular leverage that can make you want to relate with him. So, medium can make good points, can make good, he can, he can pass his message without pinching on people and all that. And once you've gotten a big followership, you should seek advices, let people talk to you, let people, you know, help you put stuff together. You know, like that the freeze. I know when that the freeze started. A lot of people like if you started on Instagram Live and all that. No, he started doing a, a normal interview in his living room, which I knew a long time. You know, well, when he started doing this as well, I knew when he started growing too. I knew when something started changing even in him too as well. I knew when he started having media managers, manage his pages and all that. I know. So you must go to that point. Once you understand that you're building a followership and people actually loving you, you can easily misguide or throw people away as well. 
that's my own. So for me, I don't have any problem with him. My last word, VDM is gonna learn. He's gonna learn in the hard way. You know, because like he always say to himself, he's gonna learn in this gonna learn. You're gonna learn. He's learning. If if he's hard of that place right now, what he picks from that place, I'm sure he's gonna put it into practice again. That's how he's gonna grow. So for me, I wish him best of luck and people that are actually arresting him too as well. Let him take it easy on him, you know. He's a young boy trying to finance him and so on. Over Kessel, I thought you were in support of him though. Because I see some of your comments on Insta blog and I'm like, hmm. In support of who? Of, of VDM, some of the things he says. Because I see some of your comments on Insta I, blog. I, I, I already told you now. I said I supported him from when he started on the skincare. I will even send him content for him to evaluate, then talk about it. But when he started leaving that spot, he wanted to be in politics, he wanted to be in governance. You can't be everywhere. Let me give you an example. There was a year where there was a, there was there was a, 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 a bomb blast in a Keja in Lagos. Mm -hmm. I was in I was in cantonment. I mean I, I went to Nigerian military school. Eh? I was in cantonment. I can tell you for free what happened that day. But you know at that point there was no Facebook, there was no internet, so it was only newspapers. Now if you go read that what the, the, the newspaper wrote those years, you will quote what you are, you will read there, and you would think that it was right. But I that was in that spot will tell you what happened like that. What even so happened? What even happened? Give us in two minutes. Give us what happened according to your. You might be wrong. Baba, I, I'm, I'm, I'm an ex boy, so there are some things that I probably will not want to say online. So let me just bounce. <laughs> okay. Let me. Uh, uh, I'll call you a uh, Baba Kisulu. According to Charlie Poppy, me and Mount. So VDM is going to learn the hard way. May mount. That's all I will say on that. So now, um, I'm told uh, um, uh, my lawyer friend, uh, the lawyer lady, uh, I understand what you're saying as regards what he may have said or what he may not have said. But as a lawyer also, you know how all these things work when we get to the, you know, when we get to the courts. I'll give you an example. Now, please, I know you addressed the situation, the Erisco food situation. Do you yeah. know that? The owner of a school food, his son and myself, we went to the same secondary school. Oh wow! Yes, we went to the same secondary school, and I, I just like I know he was, you know, and all of that. And what that the statement that that lady made that the prison already in court, so I don't want to speak in content. And I make her beat that case. Like tomorrow, if you go to court, it's no case anymore. But nobody's looking at it that way. But we have seen it. So that's what I'm just trying to explain that there's some things that people will say. It might sound defamatory, but when you get to the court, it's not defamatory. Now, let me move to the cabal situation. Daddy Freeze and everyone that's listening to us here, we should understand that in my last in the last video, I said there are four cabals that are fighting against BDM. These cabals are very powerful. Just like in the Nigerian states right now, we have the uh, currency speculators cabal and we have the fuel subsidy cabal fighting the government. Fighting the government. The air vendor cabal, the skincare cabal, the drugs and medicine cabal, and the fake drinks and alcohol cabal, they are fighting VDM. Seriously. And like I said, VDM should be made an ambassador, should be given a national honor for his fight against all of these vices that has been causing, that has been cancerous in our society. Now, Another point that I want to make also, to the air vendors, for example, a lot of air vendors don't know that this air that they are selling to Nigerians were airs that they went to use as sacrifice in front of Hindu gods. So they shave off their hair in a sacrificial manner to sacrifice for their gods, and then they refine it. And when they refine it, they sell it to us here, and then we wear it, our ladies wear it to mosques and churches. So, and we spend over $300 million to import them, Forex. So, we need to understand all these different fights and things that are going on in the background. Let's talk about the humanitarian fight of VDM. Do you know how many humanitarian battles that VDM has fought? When you look at um, VDM fights against uh, Pedo, I don't want to call the full name, Pedo, he fights against it seriously. I've seen many videos of how he has taken people out of the streets now like i said 
EDN, if you want to speak in public, get somebody that can vet what you are saying. You can get our lawyer friend here. Get her, let her read through your content so that you do not defame people and you do not slander people's character. Another thing is the more bad situation. VDM is the man that made us think in a different light. Yes, we have emotions, we have court of public opinion, and we have the rule of law. He was looking at it from the rule of law standpoint. And to people, I will talk about this more bad, just, what, uh, just on the side. And to people that are saying, well, me may not be called people, I have a shocker for you. There is a president, former president of Haiti. His name is Moïse. He was assassinated in 2021. Do you know who is complicit? His wife. But His wife is complicit. She was shot twice. She was shot in the, the battle. She was shot. But she is arrested and she's complicit. And that was the wife of the president. She is complicit. She wanted to take power. So everyone should freaking spare me respectfully on this mummy if she better the child and all of those things spare me all of that when the wife of a president was complicit in the assassin assassin as a whatever hmm. of the president go and google what i just said now so another thing that i want to talk about also is the, the single moms unfortunately we all may have had different scenarios growing up as children. We don't know how maybe single moms may have helped out or damaged the family dynamic. And as such, VDM may be speaking from his own lens, respectfully. He's speaking from his own lens. Now, he may need to butter up how he says all of these things. But some people have preferences. Some people have reasons why they would go for single moms and why they would not go for single moms. And as a public commentator, Maybe he needs to re-educate himself on how to speak on such matters so that you do not hurt. You have to be sensitive to the feelings of people. You are in the influencing world. You have to know what to say, when to say, how to say it. You have to know how to push that information out. Like I said respectfully again, Tonto DK is an enemy of the state. And to all the people that are selling products in Nigeria that don't have NAPDAP registration, that don't have standard organization of Nigeria certification, and are not practicing good manufacturing practices, GMPs, they are enemies of the state. Lastly, the Niger Delta situation. May the souls of our uh, gallant officers rest in perfect peace. What happened to them in Delta State was an eyesore. Now, there are a lot of things going on. Let I'm me not ask going you a question. Um, yes, Ayodej Bakari. Ah, you are calling my full government name. Oh, it's not my full government name. It's just part of it. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. What? Why did they buy those 16 soldiers? Just off the topic. Because I don't seem to get the full story. Well, well, we cannot get the full story because it's the Niger Delta. And in the Niger Delta, many things are going on. Despicable things, things that we can't imagine. It can be linked to oil bunkering. I think it's more of oil bunkering than anything. All those, they said two communities were fighting, the Okuama and Okoloba. Okoloba is, Ijo, is the Ijo side. Okwama is Ishekiri's side. They were fighting on the land and all of that stuff. They wanted to carry um, Okwama, Okwama's um, leaders and all of that. And then maybe there was an opportunity for those people. Because if you notice recently, Nigeria's oil production has been going up. Yeah. During the Buhari regime, it was 1 million to 1.1 million barrels per day. Now it is doing 1.3, 1.4. And we are seeing that the army are going into these creeks and are busting and are busting all of these oil bunkers, like all these oil bunkers. We are seeing it in real time. We are seeing them going in there and then you, all, you know all this weapons pro proliferation and manufacturing. They are going in there and are doing all of these things. So now, I'm not saying that the army also is not complicit though. I'm not saying they are not complicit. We don't have the full story, but I know oil is a part of it. The land dispute that they're talking about, I think it's just a, a facade, in my own opinion. It's a it's a real situation, but it's all and 
the um, Nigerian military, I think they've mentioned the name General Agbayi or something like that. You know, they call themselves generals and call themselves different names in the Greeks. So they've called the name of the person. They know the person that did it. Because when you neutralize people like that, there is a, what's it called? A trademark. So they decapi their head. They decapi. They uh, opened up and uh, removed part of the organs. I'm trying to watch my words very, very carefully online. So they, they are different, um, what's it called? Different um, ways. Now, if it's somebody that just SHOT somebody and left the body there, fine. Different type. But they know the people that did it. And they are going to go after them. And I hope they get them. Because these guys are the guys that make us sleep with our two eyes closed. I'm not saying they don't have their excesses. I'm not saying they don't have their excesses. But um, it, was, it was painful. We yeah, lost the Lieutenant Colonel. Yeah, we left the lieutenant colonel. We lost two uh, majors. We lost captains, and we lost um, soldiers. Do you know how much it costs for us to train these people? Do you know how much of taxpayers' money goes into training them, and you waste them like that? And they have their own family too. Okay. okay. They have blood running through their veins too. So, a lot of Nigerians. Why I brought it up is because a lot of Nigerians share the same sentiment, like VDM. Because why? We have seen in Nigeria what happened in Udi and in Zakabia. So there's a precedence. And many of these our communities in the in this in the south in the south south that do this oil bunking and stuff, they harbor them, they know them, they harbor them and know them. So a lot of Nigerians share that sentiment of bringing it down and leveling it. And VDM said that. I know that Sabio said he didn't like what he said. But it's just a sentiment. A lot of Nigerians feel that way. They are very emotional because of that national loss. It's a nationalistic loss. So that is why he felt that way and said that. And uh, lastly, Bobo and VDM fight. Uh, Idris and VDM's fight. VDM is fighting against, in, in his own view, moral decadence. As regards alphabet people, our alphabet community in Nigeria. And looking at the law and asking questions as to why Idris and the likes have not been picked up yet. Because we have a anti, um, I think it's 2013. Yeah, it was during Jonathan's time, 2013. Anti um, uh, GAY, anti alphabet, whatever. In 2013. And it's asking questions as to why these things are going this way without the government acting on it. So he was asking questions and he was responding to a federal case of a guy that came on an interview in Abuja and said he was ABUSED at age 10. And he was saying this is how we started and or starts. Hmm. We cannot deny the fact that when we turn up our, our TV screen, or our social media screen, we are seeing all of these things. And how is it negatively and or positively affecting our society as a people? Hmm. And that is what he is fighting for because maybe he has li lived that life. He has lived that life and said that life is not a good life. And as such, he's saying he wants to be a positive impact, just like Apost uh, Apostle Paul, who was formerly Saul, that was actually persecuting Christians. So if you are a Christian, and you believe in all of the letters that Apostle Paul wrote to the Galatians, to the Philippians, to the Thessalonians, and Colossians, and all of these people, then you should cut him some slack when he's talking, when he has to do with his uh, past life as regards the alphabet situation and what he's fighting against. He has come out and said, this is who I was before, and this is what I'm fighting against. So I think... That is all for now. And Nigerians, you like oppression too much. You remember, the oppressed, according to Paulo Freire, instead of striving towards liberation, tend themselves to become oppressors. So you talk about oppression, oppression, and oppression, but when you have the opportunity, you oppress people. And that's why you're saying, oh, I'm happy they arrested him. Why should they arrest him? Why do you think because you have access to power, you can just arrest people? You are infringing on the rights of people. And you are infringing on their constitutional rights also. We need to stop that. If somebody says something negatively against, negatively towards you, 
file a civil suit. Don't use your hand to physically harm and or hurt that person. The cause is there. Let our sister that wear glasses, let her eat. Let her chop, I beg. she be lawyer. Lawyer need to chop. Please. Thank you. What do you need, Lati Joe? <laughs> All yes. right. Um, I want to bring a couple more people. Uh, and then we call it a day. Uh, Daniela, come on, let's hear your... DF Pepper Room is here. I can see her. Yeah, come but she's out for the Pepper night. Room. Pepper Room is my grief tonight. She will start wallowing me. Pepper Room always wallow me too much. Pepper Room will go grief for me. She never go grief. Pepper Room is emotional. That's something about Pepper Room. She's emotional. I've been seeing her Sometimes. comments on the comment section. Yeah. Don't the fire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right Daddy Freeze. Daddy Freeze, I know, Daddy Freeze, I know you don't allow this, but please, I'm begging you. Let me just say this. I know you don't like it. We can't even hear you. That's okay. the thing. Sam Claire, where are you day? Can you hear me now? We can't hear I you. You're too far you. away. Pepper Room. But I can hear her. You can I can hear her. Oh, I, I could hear her. Oh, yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. I couldn't. Yeah. Sam Clef, where are you, Clef? Let's hear from Sam Clef. Uh. Her audio was not clear. Sam Clef, no, ni. Oh, yeah. Sam Clef, I don't think he's really a fan of, uh, of uh, VDM, but let's see, sure. Let's see. <laughs> let's hear from him. Let's hear. <laughs> Instagram where we my accounts. They can't even open my accounts today. I'll follow that day. Happy New Year, my guys. Ah, we they hear your voice. We don't see you. Instagram is accounts. They restrict my account, so they can't. They restrict my account, so okay. I'll find out. They restrict your account, but that means people feel see you, Abby. That's why I'm surprised if you didn't see me. I just turned it off. So but I appreciate you. All right, let's hear from you. Um, about the nothing me I want yarn. Eh, but only I'm fun now. Won't go see your face. <laughs> Won't go. You go that's the analyze. You, 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 you go that's the for his thing. You go there for his thing. They yankee go they analyze law for the for zoo. They are for you. Calm down. Get rest of. No, no, no. Don't go Nigeria is too respectfully. Don't go Nigeria is too respectfully. Ah, I, I, I respect you. Don't call the country of our when fathers and our mothers. Time, most of that calm down. He says, ask me why, ask me why I call him a zoo first now. Calm down. You no, you can call Nigeria a zoo respectfully. My Oga, you okay, be my brother. Make I call him animal, make I call him animal, make I call him animal farm. Don't call him animal kingdom. <laughs> Don't call him animal kingdom. Oh yeah, more talk about the matter where they ground. More leave zoo first. Calm down. You love Nigeria first. You love Nigeria first. You love Nigeria past me. I know, I don't know. I don't know how patriotic you are. I don't know how patriotic you are. I'm not gonna challenge that. But don't call that sir. You patriotic past me, Bongoli. Eh? You. You patriotic you are saying national anthem. Do you want me to sing the second the second star the second the second stanza? Sing sing national anthem. I'm not going to sing the first one. Say I pledge Nigeria my country. I'm not. I'm saying I want to sing the second one. The second one. The second one. That's the other one. The other one. <laughs> Can you do it? Can you sing the second one? Not the first one. Can you sing the second one? You know what I like? The second stanza of the national anthem. I like it because you are very passionate about Nigeria. That is supposed to be the president of Nigeria. And you, be, and you should also be passionate about the Federal Republic of Nigeria. It's still one of the cheapest places to live in the yeah. world. Wait, wait, no. wait, boy, get what you wait. Wait, 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 Bongoli, you you tell Tinubu, say, you can't want to why you say, you tell Tinubu, say, Tinubu, you say, make you do one thing to the Naira. What is make you do to the Naira? Make you, you see that English way, you use that English for me again. That English day, I want to use, I want to use that English for my next single. You say, make you, make you do one thing to that Naira. <laughs> it is called, it is called commodification. Do you know why I love commodification of the Naira, using cassava? Do you know why I love it? Do you know why I love Bongoli? Do you know why I love Bongoli? Bongoli is one of the most passionate. You see, Bongoli, you're right. Nigeria, we are all children from Nigeria, but Nigeria has never been good to us, but it's still our country, you understand? But it's just that we, the leadership over there, they act like lions in the jungle, and uh, they act like vultures. 
So when I who better the lion? I who better the lions? We see not people like you and I. Wait, let me turn. I'm, they would, you know, would, I would pass them. Make I talk now. No, no, no. I will tell you no. No, no. no, no Sam, don't be yes, I don't hear about this VDM matter because time be don't they go. <laughs> don't be me born lion and people for Nigeria. I mean, they go bring their cup out. How would I be? How would you be? <laughs> make I make no. It's not about that road that we have what to be. I don't eat Nigeria. I know Nigeria is cheap. Right before when they buy Nigeria, they have much. They pay two hundred and sixty-five thousand pounds in eighteen. Uh, 1899 or something like that. I know the history of Nigeria from then to now. Does have does have anything to do with age? It's interest knowing your country. Let's talk about VDM case here. Yeah. To be honest, right? Um, okay. We are all, we are all um, we all want Nigeria to succeed. We are we all kept to succeed. Bomoli is a Yankee. He's a he's a big man. You feel me? Mister Badi Yankee. You see, very dark man is also yeah. a city of Nigeria. But there are some certain things. You know, there are laws. And, I've sent you the code. I'm you know, sometimes it. we need to tread carefully. Oh, check. You understand? Check WhatsApp. I've sent it um, very dark, um, man. Um, when I when he started blogging, I used to post him. You know what? I think from my own side, he narrated an enemy, which is he inherited a beef between me and Tunde. He doesn't. He didn't even know what was going on between me and Tunde. But he decided to take sides. So he, he was weaponized. Are you listening? So he was weaponized and. Um, for me, whatever is happening today, I feel like um, they say you always dance according to the music that you play. He attracted it to himself. You understand? So let's allow the Lord to take, like you said, they allow the Lord to do their own, whatever, whatever it is. The last time they called it for questioning, you feel me? But this time around, I think they arrested for something. So let's wait. Let's find out what he was arrested for. I can't speak more. Me, I did Yankee, yeah, people did on ground. You feel me? So let's allow the Lord to do the. The, the government. Remember, he did a video where he said um, allegedly he said he has evidence of um, the AIG and the senators sleeping with small small boys. You understand? So, but I'm not sure that's even the case. Why he's there? But um, you know, you have to be very very smart when you're talking. You know, sometimes the white thought is just just he knows what he's playing. <laughs> so let's wait till we find out the real cause. But whatever is happening very dark right now is the fact that you know they say. Who killed now over Sabi nine kill Sabi? So much of everything is not good. You understand? We have freedom of speech. You understand? But there are some certain things you can't just keep it doing, be doing, be doing, be doing, be doing, be doing to the extent that now you've done it to the extent that you've done it to maybe the wrong people and if we put it to the society. So let the society just like you said, Nigeria, I call Nigeria is right now. You said Nigeria is not true. So let the country that's doing the thing. So why why are we speaking about very dark man if you know that the country is not a zoo. Hmm. Bongoli. DF. Yeah. DF. Um, I think that Sam Clef just made a statement here that is not um, that is inaccurate about VDM. VDM never said that what he said. And uh, for benefit of the doubt, let people go to his page right now and listen to what he said. Wait, about wait, the AIGs and the DIGs and the senators. Wait, wait, wait. Are you aware that, are you, are you, are you aware that VDF said that they should want to look for me and and chop me? Are you aware about that video? My brother, my brother, I am not aware of that video, but I know so, I I'm, see your so, video, Baba. And I so now, now I'm not now, aware. Wait, 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 so yes, now I'm going to use that same law because you think you're smart. So now in America, if somebody said a threat to your life, what do you do? Okay. okay. Now, no, let me say go, something. Go the bush. Let's go straight to the point. If somebody said no, if somebody does that, then you report to the necessary authorities. It's a no. criminal uh, situation. You will call the police. And all. But, but hold on, hold on. But you also, Sam Clef, I read, I follow you online, and I read what you post online, and many okay. things that you post online, yeah, you don't. like is even worse. Yeah. Okay. Like, you make reasonable statements in quotes. Like what? You make reasonable statements. You see, you are not, you are not, you are not speaking like a wise person. I thought you were a wise person. We're talking about VTN. Oh, like Bongoli. Follow no, wise. No, it's going. Sam Clef is going personal. You I said no. I said Sam Clef has made reasonable now. statements. No, you just attack me. No, no. Go and look at this. Post. And if you read his post very well, he has, he has made trips, I mean, I mean, statements I mean, and I mean, analytic I mean, statements. I mean, I mean, and then I mean, you, you, 
You are the one who is You are calling me out of my name. No, so I never call you out of your name. No, Bogolino, you don't have to I know it's not. And I will not insult you. I will not insult you to you, my brother. But let me tell you something. Next no, but you are insulting me now. You are going back home now. now. You didn't need to be stopped. You did Yankee, you're not speaking, you're not speaking, you're not speaking with facts. Do you think I did Yankee alone? I'm in Nigeria. Not, I'm, I'm, you are, I'm in you are, Nigeria. You are sentimental. You are sentimental. No, I am not. You are very sentimental. Of course, I am not. So today show I am not. Very, you are a very sentimental thing. You are manipulative and it's bad. Okay, how? Okay, how? I'm not exactly. saying anything. I'm going to move my camera. Please let me know how. Respectfully, sir. Exactly. I'm using my, my I asked you a question and I said somebody laid a threat against me and you're in America. You said it's a crime, right? So if it's a crime, no, I will not say it's a crime. I said it is a criminal intent and it should be reported. What is a criminal intent? Is, is, is a crime not a criminal intent? No, wait. Intent is it, 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 a court of competent jurisdiction have to certify it criminal. Okay. But criminal it, intent is different from it being criminal. It is the court of competent jurisdiction that will determine that. But this person has already have a lawyer here. That is what I'm saying. You need to listen to my 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 lingua. I know what I say. my lingua. You need to listen okay. to my lingua very well. And okay, I, we have now. a lawyer here. Okay. So okay, the lawyer now. So are you trying to say that like this? Interest is different from crime. I don't say this person is right for 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 signaling a threat against my life. No, I am not saying that's why it's a criminal a intent. A court is threat to court is threat. Oh my God! No, no, Sam Clay, please. Which one is called his threat again? That's what he said. Now he said they said they should chop my head if he do and his gangs. This that. That's one. That's one. Say Bogoli. Be, before you talk, try and do your research. Oh Sam wow. Sam Clay, respectfully. Sam Clay, respectfully. If that be the case, then let us talk about the things that you post on your platform and how they have made treasonous statements against the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Like Let's get the GFS involved. Oh, yeah, Let's get the chief of Nigeria. And I know they can call you from America. You know they can call you from America. It's very Ibos? simple. Is it about the Ibos? Uh, well, even no, I'm, I'm saying what a lot of saying? things that you say. It's not even, you see, you even know. You even know part of it. Say, is it about the Ibos? You even know what you, you even know. That's what I'm saying. That's something that is history. You really uh, do. It's not history. It's not, yeah. you don't know Nigeria. Respectfully, I don't gloat I was, about Nigeria. I'm, I'm a son of an Air Force man. You don't know, I'm a son you don't know of an Air Force man. I was born in Nigeria. I was born in Air Force. I don't know when you were born in Nigeria. I know the history of that place better than you do. I know the history of the people better than you do. I don't want to know you. You know that I got love for you. That is Sam Clef. And I know you have passion for Sam I don't want to know where you are from in Nigeria. I'll tell you the history of the people. History. I will, okay, let me I'll tell you right? anywhere you are from. I'll tell you the history of the people. So, I'll tell you how they how they came into Nigeria. I'll tell you how when they created the states, the date, the time. I'll tell you their governors. I'll tell you everything about. I'll tell you about the languages that they speak. So don't tell me that Nigeria's history. You know Nigeria's history. What I read on your page, me. Uh, I only back and go go there. Oh yeah, you you know what I write on my page. You are saying that is treasonable. Mr. Tristan. Oh, you said many things that are Tristan, but you even said about the Igbos, and you said, oh, what did I mean? You know what, right? what did Tinubu use for his election? Hold on. The elections are gone. Come back in 2027. What about the Election are gone. Oh, my team is sentimental. You want me to be talking about the elections that have gone already? Yes. Oh, it has gone. But it was used as a tribalism tool during the election. Tinubu is a middle court. Okay. Tribalism. That is true. That, that is true. That is true. Because, because I don't that is true. I'm not running away. Daddy, please, oh. I want to prove a point here. And Daddy, please, I want every Nigerian to listen to me, Daddy, please. Now, to my evil brothers and sisters, I'm not going to say that to you. But I want you all to listen to me. Daddy, please. I want, Daddy, please, I want you to watch me here. Daddy, please, I want you to watch me here. Please, I'm saying, Baba, you feel mute, I beg. My, my brother, I feel mute, I beg. Daddy, please. In the 2023 elections, I know the results of all the 36 states, including the FCT. I know the percentages of voting. In the Southwest, for example, President Tinubu scored 58% of the total votes. He lost Lagos State by about 10 to 20,000 votes. He lost Oshun State to um, a Fulani man, which is a former Vice President Atiku Abubakar, respectfully, by 3,000 or 4,000 votes. He only won four states, 58% of the votes. Article, uh, uh, article, 50% of the votes in the southeast 
He scored 97 percent votes in Anambra State. He scored 95 percent votes. Oh my God! In the he scored. He scored I'm let me finish respectfully. Let me finish. You don't want me to learn. Let me finish. <laughs> he scored over 86 percent votes in Abia State. I can give you the numbers. And then you start calling other tribes tribalistic. When you got 90% of your votes in the southeast, are you freaking a, a kidding me right now? Where they read for midnight, for four, four a.m. midnight, it's now the day they talk. The where they use tribalism with every uh, local. We are yet to have a What is being tribal about you? That you that you that you feel that you know, know, you feel that you know more than everybody. That's your problem. You think that you know more than everybody? No, I don't know more than everybody. I don't know more than everybody. So let me ask you a question. 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 This Tinubuda is the president. Oh my God! Did he become a? Is he a Nigerian president? What percentage based on tribalism? Sam Clef, Sam Clef, I've always, I've only promised that he frees one thing. I said that if freeze your show is my shine because Papa, I commence with nobody national TV. In I commence on stop. national TV. Let's just stop. We are national TV standard. Stand we know the quality. I know you, my guy. Just talk. No, don't take a part now. Me, hey, my brother, my brother, my yeah. brother. I am national TV standard. I speak on national TV. I give recommendations on national. TV. Anybody can speak on national TV now. So, Daddy Freeze program is my strand, and I've always told Daddy Freeze I'll always be on your show regardless. You won't see me speaking anywhere and around or whatever it is. So I won't engage with you on this. Bring facts. Superior uh, facts, superior you arguments. I don't you have one. It's me. Or... It's me. You cannot prove where I said I said prisoning words. And you now, you expect me to accept what you said. Abongoli. No, it's true. No. My lawyer. Emotions are part of the talk. Eh? I tell see. No, I we have to prove you fast now, Tom Clef. Okay, no, no, people. No, no. people, please, do what I said. I just gave you facts now. I'm not no, dying yet now. I just gave you facts. Baba, I'm Baba, not I didn't fabricate facts. it. Baba, I didn't fabricate the things that you post. On your, your platform. Baba, I didn't fabricate it. I didn't fabricate it. I didn't fabricate the things that you post on your platform. I didn't fabricate it. I didn't. I didn't fabricate one of you. I didn't fabricate the results of the 2023 elections. I didn't. So what are you talking about, sir? Election was is it? That was an election. That was a selection. Sam Clef, you're attacking my person. Is it my person? Well, you just attacked attack my person. You said I said prison words. You said I said prison words. Now you said I'm attacking your person. You said it. No. <laughs> No, 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 I said on your, I said on your, on your platform, on your platform, on your page, you've made several hey, people work. Uh, and then we even said an example. Can we focus on the main issue, please? Can yes. we just focus? It's not me now. Somebody's attacking my platform. It's not you that took us for this conversation to take me to, I was talking about VDM. And I was telling you what No, 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 no. You are the one that went personal with VDM now. What's my own business with the no, issue you have with VDM? You went personal with VDM. Are you not going to talk now? What do you know me? What's my own? I did not call you. You have issues with the video. You have issues with VDM. What's my business? You put it on your platform. It's none of my business. Sometimes I know you know me. We've met several times. I do it my own. And mind you, I do not have issues with them. Are you listening? I'm only showing the action what I people don't see behind the scene. So get this straight. Bogoli, me and you go see, we go drink, we go laugh. Now conversation with the girl. Normal level. Yes, Normal, yes. we go sleep for well with you. Normal level. And nobody no, buys. We go for well with you. But when I want you to understand, you say, me when you know, you know me for many years, and you are seeing this character of Sam Clef now portrayed on the internet, there's a reason for it. Are you listening? Are you getting my point? So, I'm every action of Sam Clare, there's an opposite reaction. Mm. I know what I'm playing. I'm playing the game of the manipulative ones and the instigative ones. I get to my point. So, I won't just come at you and attack you. Me and Daddy Freeze have had an issue before, but see, we are close today. Life is not that deep. I get to my point. Life is not that deep. But very dark man on his own, he attracted what is happening to his life right now. So let him face the consequences and let the gods judge to themselves. All we can do is to talk, talk, talk. We don't know what is behind the court. Court, as, as, a, as a lawsuit has been filed against him, that they're going to move him to court, do we even know? 
Eh, that's why we're not talking about Baba. Baba yes, so. so let's wait and see now. Okay, I should they talk for her now. You want to come out of prison? Where is it tonight? It's really a Friday. Oh. They don't prison, Friday, yeah. oh. what prison, prison, Do you know the meaning of prison and jail? Prison is after your sentence. They call her. They call her prison for prison English. Don't worry yourself. He go sleep for cell this night on Friday night. They know the bill on Friday. He go take it to Monday. By Monday, we could know what they have. <laughs> Uh, but you see, hold on, Sam Clef. Here's my problem. I don't like, I don't like it. I don't like the fact that they arrested him. And I'll tell you why. It will only create more enmity. It doesn't solve any problem. I said it before. See, very dark black man is an activist. If you arrest him, you are making him famous. Which activist? Activist for who? My activist for you. Sam Clef, respectfully. Eh? Very dark black man. Eh? He's a very influential figure eh? in Nigeria. What because, is, what, what's of fight, the because of his fight against um, women, eh, women, eh, women, women, skin care, women. not women. Did I? Did you? Let me talk, Nababami. Let me talk. He's okay. he's fighting against air vendors. He's fighting okay. against skin care uh, producers. He's fighting uh, against uh, fake drugs and medicine, and he's also fighting against fake drinks and alcohol and the likes. And uh, it is so that our life expectancy can be improved. Uh, now you're super, now superman, a superhero. <laughs> so he's, a, he's a superhero. He's a superhero to, to Nigerians when it comes to the health sector. Do you understand what's going on with NAPDA? Do you understand the, the NAPDA uh, and the son of... And the and the um um what's it called? Daddy Prince, I'm muting. I'm not saying anything anymore. Um Sam Kev, you're being very emotional about this thing. I just did catch cruise. Why could now not get emotional and take a person now? I don't like cruise. 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 All of them are emotional. I don't even make any fees. I don't do cruise though. 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 Bongoli, calm down. Which one we say they move? Which one? Would they just say why they take a passing now? Say that you sabi. Who dash? So now you. So now you. 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 Now yeah, let's go, Bumuli. Samuel okay. is here. Now, Sam Clef. Sam Clef. No, Samuel. Samuel is here. Samuel is here. Samuel. Samuel. Seven. Yeah. Seven lines. Seven. 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 Please, so if you are watching on TikTok, double click the screen, double click the screen, pop my money gun. See? Wait, 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 wait. Maybe I pop my money gun. Double click the screen. This is what I need you to do all on TikTok right now. Right now, let's get it to 50,000 likes. Sharp, 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 sharp. Follow my number one gift. I'm gonna make a big what shout I out follow? to my number that one that gift. On the TikTok. Why I know for Nigeria, my to number one gift. A big that shout that out that to that you. Big shout out. Pop my money gun. Selective activists. Now we get for Nigeria okay. selective so, The point that I want to make here is that in South Africa today, I saw it in the news two days ago, their power is epileptic as we speak. They are not getting constant electricity in South Africa anymore. Their wow. water system is deplorable now as we are speaking. In Ghana, the same thing. Ghana, they are not having their constant electricity like they used to. And in many, many places like that. But you don't see South African residents or citizens calling their country a zoo or animal kingdom on all of these funny names. Likewise, the Ghanaians. And we Nigerians need to desist from that. We need to market Nigeria. Many countries have their own flaws. Even the United States that we are living in, they have their own flaws. But we have to be good ambassadors of Nigeria. Because if we keep the market in Nigeria, when you carry your Nigerian passports, people will not respect you. It is not about what your government is doing. It is about we ourselves. They will double doubt us and triple doubt us. We want mm. foreign direct investments. We want local direct investments coming into Nigeria. But we have to promote and present Nigeria so that these people can bring their monies in so that they can create jobs for people. The government will not create jobs. The government already is already employing millions of people. They are paying them 30,000 naira minimum wage and, and, and the likes. But we need 
foreign investors need foreign portfolio investment and Bongole, and God bless you. Bongole, Bongole. Bongole. People will not bring Bongole. their money into the country. That's all I'm saying here. We should market our country very, very oh, yeah. well. Bongole, Bongole, let me tell you something, right? I appreciate you. One thing I like about you, like I said, you're a very passionate guy when it comes to Nigeria. And I'm going to, you see, I've changed. This is Sam we're talking to you right now. It's most of the time, you guys don't know who's talking to you. Sam Clef is there, someone is there, Chips is there. You understand? I like the fact that it's high time we need to start portraying, you know, we need to be a good ambassador. Even though if our our leaders are thieves, you understand? Let's just keep being good ambassadors, you know. You know, let's just keep representing the country. Because I don't know, they, let's talk about the likes of Whiskey and David Doe. They've been representing this country, you understand? They've been, um, you know, doing good stuff. Bonapo is there representing this country. The only problem we have is the public servants. There's something you're not saying. Now, you see, there's something we need to educate ourselves about the public servant. The public servants are meant to serve us. But in the end, we end up serving them these days which is the problem so most of the time when i talk about use that word zoo is because we're practicing the animal farm there's a book called animal farm you understand so being a zoo is the fact that in the zoo there's all called jungle justice i'm going somewhere I'm, i don't want you to be emotional about that word i won't before because the phrase is here so when i use the word zoo or use the word anim, uh, animal farm it's because how we treat ourselves we treat ourselves like animals you understand take for instance you said something about me the Igbos. i'm an Igbo man and you see this country nigeria everybody have their strengths the Igbos have their strength Yorubas have their strength they also have their strengths but that doesn't mean that we cannot live together we can live together if we all come together and accept ourselves as who we are without jealousy envy and greed so the problem there is that the problems are the problem the rich one have been manipulating for just like this social media people have been manipulating everybody you understand so my my take and my own anger is for that We've been treating ourselves. The person, the poor man, will steal something. Jungle justice. Is that not a zoo? Well, Sam Clef, you just said that Nigeria is an animal farm, right? And according to the animal farm, all animals are equal, but some animals are more equal than the others, that. right? No. Eh? That is all animals that is No, no, no. That, that is, is in the animal farm. Eh? Every in animal farm, they, you bait the animals, you feed them. The animals can't think on their own. They're in, a, they're, in, they're in a pyramid. You understand? Most of the people that, are, that have been able to break out of the Nigerian jigs are people that broke the rules. One chap. No. So, no, no, wait. Sam Clef, that is the meaning of when you say animal farm, that is the meaning of the of the animal farm. That is the, um, what's it called? The philosophy behind the animal farm story that I just said. Now you're saying something else, sir. But when you kept on saying animal farm, I'm on the, like that is the philosophy behind it now see there are so many philosophy you can bring up from that book when you hear the word zoo that's why i said it's good that we are now we're educating ourselves now the word zoo or the word jungle in the jungle animals everybody is the king everybody's trying to survive you understand dog eat dog the lion wakes up in the morning trying to devour nobody cares there's no law everybody's just doing whatever they like but the lion has his own throne you understand but in the animal farm you tame the animals you feed them you feel me you starve them eh? and it's whatever you give them yeah. you will appreciate so they cannot speak the truth they cannot they cannot fight for their rights are you listening to me they cannot fight for their rights because they respectfully i'm having a tough time understanding what you are saying because it's you choose not to understand no i'm listening to you I'm listening. You see me that I'm yeah. listening. In an I'm animal farm, the animals to to are in a cage. They cannot think out of the my, box. Yeah, not go to my house. It's as simple as okay. ABC. Take for instance, you have a chicken. You feed the chicken. It's when you feed the chicken, the chicken can eat. The chicken cannot think out of the box. Okay, let me. So explain. it is whatever you let give me. the chicken. The chicken is about programmed. Food. Is programmed to think in a particular way. Now, brother, yeah. if you say you know, oh yeah, let me wait now. The chicken is programmed to live in a particular perimeter, and it does not go out of that perimeter. Now, which they give up, it go chop. That is okay. how people so, have been treated in Nigerians. Okay, so now, animal farm. Me, this we are talking people about. People are treated now. not to think. As people are tamed, they are tamed. Okay. Wait, okay. wait, 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 wait now. They are tamed. As a Nigerian, you have to provide light for yourself. You provide electricity for yourself. You provide security for yourself. You do everything for yourself. Why do you think Nigerians are progressing all over the world? 
because we are self-made human beings. The moment you are born, you are thinking of yourself. The government does nothing. You're in a country where even a, a, a child, that let's say a, a disabled child, the government take care of that child. You as a country, what what has, what have you benefit from being a Nigerian? What have you benefit? Let's be clean. Let's tell ourselves the truth. Stop putting around the bush. Stop okay. lying to yourself. So, Stop Clef, being manipulated. Clef, 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 there are two things I would like to talk about here. One thing that I benefited from Nigeria was that I attended University of Lagos. I studied chemical engineering for five years. And uh, it's a five-year course in Nigeria. And I paid 6,500 Naira as tuition. I repeat, when I went to the University of Lagos, I paid 6,500 Naira as tuition annually. No, it's not even tuition, sir. Because in Nigeria, federal federal education is free. So I went to, I went to school for free. And in the U.S. here, you are going to pay, if you go to Texas A&M in College Station here, you are going to pay maybe between eight to $10,000 annually. So if you are talking about what did I benefit from Nigeria, I benefited that from Nigeria. And I took okay. that degree. I'm, I'm not done. I'm not done respectfully. I worked with that degree for a year in Nigeria. I took that degree and I got a master's. I came here for a master's degree program in chemical engineering. And it was that degree and that experience in Nigeria that I used to land my first job here in America because I didn't have engineering experience here in America. So when you talk about what did Nigeria do for me, I can tell you that for free. And many people on this platform that went to that went that schooled in Nigeria, school is free according to section 18. Section 18, subsection, I think three or something like section 18. It says that the federal go the government will provide as as at where you when due to provide free education. Our education in Nigeria is free if you don't know. There so that is why I said I'm, clever. I'm not done, sir, respectfully. Let me now give you another philosophy because I know you read book, philosophy, and all of that. It's called, the book is called The Art of War by Sun Shu. And he said, and I quote, when you are going to fight war, and I use it to equate how you balance the ecosystem of a society. He talks about you have the intellectuals, you have the generals, you have the covetous ones, those are the lazy ones, and you have the floor members. Mm -hmm. Now, you have to have the people that are thinking. They could be evil geniuses. Then you have to have people that would enforce the thinking of those people. And then you have the lazy people, the commercial people that will be looking for shortcuts to actually get to that result. And then you have the floor people or the soldiers that will push the course. You need all of that to balance the ecosystem. Now, what you are talking about here, it is quite similar to what's going on in Haiti. I don't know if a lot of people are paying attention to that Marco barbecue in Haiti. And what is doing in Haiti? Oh, we want our country for ourselves. Haiti is a no-go area. No, we so don't want that. We want to anarchy and all of that stuff. Let us be mindful and or careful. Now, that is another line. I'm not talking. I'm not even going to talk about stoicism and the philosophy and all of that. Socratic and all of those Epictetus and Marcus Aurelius philosophies and all of that. That is another side of Bongoli. It's about not that philosophy me. now. About those. <laughs> Wait, now ask you a question, right? No, no, no. You said you went to school for free. Hold on. Oh, no, you said you wait now. You said you went to school for free in Nigeria, right? Eh? Yeah, I did. There was a time I when did. the system in Nigeria was okay. Boom. No, that's not true. Yeah. People are going to school for free in Nigeria. So wait, tomorrow, now, wait, no, now, wait. Now, wait. Mongoli, you said you said respectfully, let me talk now. Let you talk. Let me talk to now. Mongoli, out of two hundred million, let's out of one hundred thousand, maybe it's just only few people that have the opportunity to have opportunity maybe they have connection or whatever it is to get a better job so you finish from school is it is job guarantee is that enabling environment for anybody to succeed without corruption are you asking me a question As, yes now is that is nigeria does nigeria has an enabling environment let me i'm going to explain it this way and i tell okay. people the moment we remove corruption from nigeria the moment we remove corruption from Nigeria, we have poorer people in Nigeria as an aftershock. Because the Nigerian system already breeds on corruption. It's built on corruption. Who are the we people behind the corruption? You and I, me and you, Nigerians. So is it me and Nigeria, you guys on top? Wait, wait, wait. Nigeria, I, I want you to ask a question, Nigeria. right? It's Nigerians that poison Nigeria, not Nigeria poisoning Nigerians. The soil, the ground was already here before people moved, inhabited from different parts of the world. Or people that were born here 
So it's all public, public, public servants now that are leading Nigerians right now. Right? We poison right? the soil. We poison uh -huh. the soil. We poison Nigeria. Just like how Nigerians will travel, some Nigerians will travel to different parts of the world and be behaving the way they were behaving in Nigeria. And they get put in the system. They put them in the system. Do you want me to talk about what's going on in Southeast Asia? So or Malaysia? Just I have you 30 have, seconds have remaining, just, guys. Have, Thank you, you so much, present. everybody. Sam Clef, God bless you. Bongoli, God bless you. Uh, Mary, God bless you. Thank you guys so much for coming through. I have 28 seconds left. 11 seconds now. It will go off by itself. Thank you so much. Make una leave very dark black man. Make una no arrest her. Make una just pity her. Make una leave her. Bye. Bye guys. Thank you so much on TikTok, on Facebook and YouTube. I love you guys loads. See y'all later.